Stupid, stupid, stupid things. That is exactly what we are doing today because why not? What else am I gonna do? Now, since I've bought the, the 1200 GS, two things have bugged me a lot about it. One of them, the first one, was the horn. That little chipmunk sound that, you know, for some reason BMW put in there. That's been solved a long time ago by using the uh, some sort of air horn. There are a couple of different brands, but they basically all the same thing. That's fine. The second thing was the exhaust note, let's call it that. The sound that came out from the bike while I was riding it. Didn't like it, was never a fun of it, just sounded too docile. Uh, I, I know there are a lot of aftermarket options out there. I looked at all of them. I looked at a thousand YouTube videos to try to figure out which one sounds better. They are all extremely expensive. The only one that sort of piqued my interest was a Jekyll and Hyde Dr. Mr. Hyde and Dr. Jekyll, something like that. It was a electronic one. It was a weird one. Uh, it had a little electronic valve with a button that you pressed and uh, you can change the sound like that. That sounded good. It had a very throaty sound, but very, very expensive. There's no way I'm gonna spend that amount of money on an exhaust. So uh, why not do something stupid? This is a very cheap aftermarket sports bike exhaust. We're gonna put this on the 1200 today. Now, this was about 70 euros or something like that. It's got no markings on it, so I highly doubt it's legal anywhere. It has to be tested afterwards. But all I'm curious about is how does it sound on the big boxer engine? Hopefully it'll fit. It's got a little converter here for the size. Let's take that out from like a smaller size to like a larger size. I did measure it. It's about 52 centimeters in diameter. That's about 52, so it should fit without, without this on. So we're gonna take the OEM one, put the little sports bike aftermarket no-name end can on, see what it sounds like, see if we're happier. Uh, why am I wearing a bunch of GoPros on me? I wanna do this in one shot. And I'm also a little curious about this thing called multi-camera editing. There's a lot of editing going on making these videos, so you sort of have to have a passion for, for video editing as well. And I've always wanted to try multi-camera video editing. It's apparently a lot easier than it sounds, so I'm just gonna turn all of these on and that, I'm gonna move that somewhere else, synchronize, get to work, do all of this in one shot. That's it. But in a controlled environment, let's hear how the OEM exhaust sounds like. Now, I've watched a couple of tutorials about this on, uh, on YouTube, so uh, I guess you could call me sort of an expert here. Um, but then again, this is one of the first videos that I'm doing where I have to wear pants. So, uh, up to you. Okay, first we're gonna take off this shield. T25. T25 is used almost exclusively everywhere on this bike. If nothing else, this is going to give me a very good reason to clean this exhaust because it is disgusting at the moment. Here comes the shield. Oh, that is, that is just nasty. That is, yeah. Oh. What happens if you do a lot of off-road? Feels like a 30. That's what it is. Cool. Now, I'm gonna undo this a little bit. How is that? T30. Is it? Is it a 30? Yeah, my God. 
Now, there is no way this new exhaust is going to fit right over here. So there will need to be some modifications, but that's not what we're interested in today. Today we're interested in finding out exactly how it sounds. Okay, so at the moment it's just holding in this. So it will need to be persuaded. Ooh, there's another spacer, washer, whatever it is, at the back here. Come, come, fall out. Okay, so remember, this one goes at the back. Somebody needs to remember that. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out. Ah. Oh, the moment of truth. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. This thing is heavy. This is a beast. This thing is really, really, really heavy and dirty. That's what happens when you use it. But it's heavy. It's really, really heavy. All right, let's put it here. Oh my God, I like it. Must be about three, four. Yeah, three, four kilograms. Now that is one open exhaust tube. I wonder if the new one fits. Let's find out if the new one fits. Where is it? Huh, it's next to me. Does it fit? No. Of course not. Why would it fit? Well, this is stupid. Okay, so we need to get an adapter from this to the larger one. See you in a couple of days, I guess. But first, you know what we have to test out, don't you? Let's see how this sounds without any silencer on. So it's now about three days later. Uh, we've been lucky enough to find this online. Uh, pretty much exactly what we needed. This is a, um, an exhaust adapter. It goes from like a, a very high diameter over here to a very low diameter over here. Unfortunately, it doesn't perfectly fit the exhaust from the bike or our little stupid sports exhaust. So um, there will need to be some cutting of metal, which I don't like doing. So as you can see here, it, it actually hits this metal piece here before it gets to the end. So I'm just going to cut half of this over here and then hopefully it's going to be a snug fit. If not, we'll make another plan. That's going to sort out this connection. For this connection, we are going to cut straight here. We're going to cut on the second ring size and hopefully this will be a snug fit right on top of the exhaust over here. So let's get cutting. All right, that was quite uh, quite unpleasant, but uh, this is what we have so far. It looks very professional, which is exactly how this video is going to turn out. It's not a tight fit. It's not a tight fit on uh, on the main header, and it's not a tight fit on the slip-on. So I think the plan is as follows: I'm going to put some uh, some aluminium tape over here, make it a little bit more airtight. I'm going to put some aluminium tape over here so that it's a little tighter. On, uh, on the slip-on as well. And then we're gonna use these two ears that it comes with and actually hold it with some sort of spring so that it doesn't, uh, so that it stays in place. So uh, let's get to it.
that is a lot better. These are some sharp little filings here. That's what happens when you don't know how to use an angle grinder. All right, almost airtight, not completely, but um, then again, the idea is just to hear the sound, not actually use this. Um, so we need to attach a spring from this here, probably to over here, because I can't see any other anchor point. And from this one, probably again to over here, but we might just go over it. Okay, that is as tight as it's gonna go, which is not tight enough at all. All right, at least on the bottom and it's, it's not going anywhere. The top needs work though. Look at that, it's just beautiful. This is obviously not safe for riding, so I'm not recommending anyone do that. The idea was to find out what this sounds like compared to that. So um, I think it's about time to turn it on. There will definitely be a bit of leakage over here, but um, not a lot to actually change the sound. So uh, let's move the microphone to where it was when we filmed the, the original exhaust. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. I hope it doesn't spit it out and let's go. So I'm, um, I'm actually quite excited about the results of this. Uh, not about the execution, no, definitely not. But the results are good. It sounds almost like it's got no silencer, which uh, by the looks of what's inside, there is a, I don't think there's a lot inside there to silence anything. But I think my plan going forward is to, to jump on Amazon or somewhere and uh, find uh, one that's certified for, for road use. Um, and that also comes with the right adapters and everything for the for the 1200 and the 1250 because I'm uh, I'm into this kind of sound. Not that loud, but uh, it's a lot more it's a lot more throaty, you know. It's a lot more unlike the factory. So let me know if you've got any other uh, ideas about this in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, which uh, I cannot see a single reason why you would have. Give it a big thumbs up anyway and uh, consider subscribing or becoming one of our patrons to help us make more of these stupid little motorcycle shows. Cheers and I'll see you on the next one. Alright, it's time to clean up now I guess. Dave, Dave, where are you hiding Dave? Come, we have to clean up. Dave, where is he? Where are you Dave?